Malayalam film which was uh, I think uh, at least for me it is uh, as good as any other Malayalam film this year because it's based on a real incident of 1998 or uh, 96 1996 and uh, the way they have you know kept the facts intact and uh, make it cinematic and you know of course they have taken a bit of cinematic liberty here and there but it was very very realistic something like you know jab him if you remember last year yep 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 that was also based on a real incident so here i was you know literally like uh, uh, these guys especially you know malayalam cinema uh, and and dilish pothan i mean this guy is so multi talented he directs he writes he acts he edits and uh, uh, so yeah great cast uh, in 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 the lead roles uh, all those guys Really, I I I I I think think Anurag Kashyap himself uh, endorsed that film. A film that I really liked was 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 Puru, uh, starring Mamuti. So uh, I won't say it 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 a very exceptional movie, but but when when got to watch it and when I was, you know, reading the reviews, it was, I mean, many people didn't like it, but when I watched it, so for for one really ज सरप्राइजिंगली गुड फिल्म cause and specifically the climax cause the climax at so many twist and turns the, the specifically the last 10 20 minutes i never expected that a climax to have so many twist arounds and so many turns cause from the trailer it was i mean people were saying that mamuti could be playing a role of a pedophile or you know a sexual predator or something because there was a little kid that he was trying to dominate and stuff but the film was totally different and it was a quite an enjoyable film cause i think yes puru I think was a film that uh, could could get a special mention from at least from my end. I think it's a pretty good pick because I also enjoyed watching the film and uh, as you said the last few minutes were completely unexpected. Uh it's a psycho thriller and uh, we we don't have a lot of good psycho thrillers being made in India so uh, and it was yeah. uh, it was I think uh, Rat- Ratina if that if that's the director's name that was uh, uh that the director's debut film also so to be able to make a film like that uh, in the first attempt and you know to have somebody like a mamuti on board uh, so the first film that uh, really literally blew us away even in the trailer itself was janagana mana because when i say literally blew it away if you remember the trailer of janagana mana very blows away the whole uh, uh, government uh, establishment there with a the bomb uh prithvi raj so that film was again uh something that you know prithvi has been able to do for the last uh few years you know with uh, films like uh, this and then kurudi if you remember uh so uh sadik what were your first thoughts on janagana mana because this film has made the right kind of noise in india as far as i am concerned what about you as a pakistani because it has touched upon a very sensitive topic which is which has been a burning issue in india for some time now so yes and uh, i may spoil some uh, of the film also because i'm ex- i'm you know assuming that the people have watched the film so uh, you know i specifically wanted to highlight about the suraj venger muddu's character when he kills uh, those you know four people that uh, you know who are unfortunately uh, killed because of that uh, incident and suraj had had to you know kill those guys because obviously uh, he had a motive and he was pressurized by the politician and he also says that and you know when his uh, son is suffering and he's i think submit uh, you know he's uh, uh, there in that hospital his child and suraj realizes that what a big blunder that he has made that he's killed those four innocent people and as a result his son has uh, his child is now has to suffer because you know what i uh, got to assume because i i'm not only focusing on that political angle that was shown in this film but i'm also seeing that you know if these people that uh, the people that are unfortunately affected because of this i mean you know the instructions that they get from the establishment like the politicians like uh, you know uh, the judiciary whatever they are i mean the law enforcement guys who are not as powerful as they are but they do have that guilt inside them when they do these you know bad acts we for one don't don't know that you know they have committed some things that which are against us but they do feel bad and this film janaganamana never showed any character in 
totally a bad manner. I mean, there was no specific villain, no specific hero. They were all great characters, except for I think Prithviraj, because Prithviraj obviously he was the, the hero of this film. But even the, there was some you know gray character, uh, gray shades of him. And Suraj Vanjara Muddu, I think for me he was the main highlight of this film because uh, in the first half of the film he's shown in such a positive way, and I thought that he's also the the you know hero of this film along with Prithviraj. But then second half I got to know his real shades. So I think uh, overall, if you see this film, this is a very thought-provoking and an eye-opening film that people that are caught in this dilemma, in this what I want to use this word, chakra view, that we are all caught in this you know web which has been you know created by the establishment. So I think Jana Jana Mana, the manner in which it it showed this, it it is applicable not only in India but in Pakistan also. It's actually happening what we have seen in this film. It, it's very sad. And, and I I don't see any solution to this. I think uh, uh, the second part is also coming. Uh, yeah. So that will be something to look out for. Uh, I watched it in theater, and I remember watching it in a packed house. You know, in Mumbai, it's not a common thing to uh, see packed house full shows of a Malayalam film, but uh, that was the case with this one, and a lot of uh, Prithviraj fans as well hooting in the theater. So that was a breath of fresh air to see. Uh, it was also my first uh, Malayal- Malayalam film in a theater. I watched it with Farad, uh, our mutual friend, and you know, that was the first time we met. So it was a great experience. Uh, uh, next film, uh, it's a film that you have to uh, be a diehard romantic to enjoy this film. First of all, I'm talking about Ridham. Uh, Ridham. Another Malayalam film, which is I, I think it's also being remade in Hindi now with Saif Ali Khan's son. That's what I've read somewhere. Uh, yeah. That's true. But uh, I think a big part of Hridayam's success was, first of all, its ending, how they ended it. They didn't go the Bollywood way of uh, uh, the lead pair getting together at the end of the day. It was not the case. Uh, plus the music that again helped uh, Hridayam reach a wider set of audience because of how uh, what, a, what a big hit the music ended up becoming. Uh, and good performances, of course. And another uh, thing I, I, I remember talking about to one of my other YouTuber friends. She said that, you know, the film, when 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 we see the college life, you know, so for that, uh, for, for people like us who are in the late 20s or early 30s, you know, it's like a deja vu for us because the times they have showed in the college, those smaller phones, uh, the yeah. when phones were not smart enough and we didn't have yeah. you know, social media. So that's why yeah. we can move to that film. So your thoughts on Hidayam? Uh, uh, yes, so uh, when I was discussing with one of our mutual friends, Farad, so he actually recommended this film to me and he said that you should definitely watch it. So I, I was able to watch this film in February or March, I think, because it, uh, it got a theatrical release in January, I guess, and it got some amazing applause. Then after that, I watched and man, I really loved that film. And I, I, I really want to, you know, appreciate the director and, you know, uh, the, the story writer that wrote the film. Because obviously it, it did bring some good memories and, you know, the manner in which they were able to show those nostalgic moments. So it, it really, you know, for people like us that you mentioned and you correctly mentioned that it, it really hit the people that are in their late 20s or early 30s, just like 96. Because I loved the film 96, which was which starred Setupati. And 96 really struck me because, again, being in that age of early uh, late 20s and early 30s, that film was able to show about the school and college reunion. So Ridham also, uh, I mean, it was not only about, uh, it was not about reunion, but it was able to show about the nostalgia. And apart from that, uh, you know, the two characters, I mean, you know, Mohanlal's son and Priyadarshan's daughter, it's good to see them working also because Mohanlal and Priyadarshan, they have worked quite a lot in Malayalam films. They, they have made some many amazing super hit films. So it was really good to see Kalyani Priyadarshan and Mohanlal Sun to work together and to create such a good film. And, so yeah, and, and overall, a really good thing, film. Another thing, I think uh, the film was full of surprises. You know, like it was not a yeah. one-track uh, love story between two people. Uh, yeah. For example, like in between when their friend dies, Remember, so uh, he ends up naming his son after that friend who changed. Yeah, his yeah. So that was yeah. that was a wonderful gesture on his part, and you know how yeah. he dedicated 
the rest of his life to that friend uh, to to whom he owed so much and then at yeah. the end you know uh, you know all this while when we were thinking okay you know uh, this is the leading lady he he'll end up getting her but at the end you know they don't end up together and he has his own life and you know he he has his own family and so uh, i think that way this film uh, was a breath of fresh air and uh, totally totally uh, for me the best romantic film of the year uh, doesn't matter what language but thoroughly enjoyable